Did you know that your cat's cat flap might be one of the biggest causes of stress for your cat? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go through seven reasons why I think that you should consider getting a microchip cat flap, as well as give my long-term review of my Sure Flap microchip cat flap. Hi, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, helping you and your cat to live a healthier, happier life. So if this is your first time here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification down below. So I've talked in a few other videos about some of the common causes of stress in cats, as well as how we can go about trying to eliminate and reduce the stress that a lot of our cats are under, whether we recognize that or not. And actually having other cats coming into the house to eat their food, coming, having cats intruding on your cat's territory is one of the biggest causes of stress. And it's something that's very, very common. I hear it all the time in my consult room that a cat has strange cats coming in, eating their food, using their litter tray, and it's a huge cause of stress that really should not be underestimated. So a microchip cat flap can help you solve this problem of cats coming into your house and stressing out your cat. It could also help solve a number of other problems you might be having with your cat and just help you provide them with a little bit more security and help you look after your cat better. So let's get into my seven tips of why I think you should buy a microchip cat flap. And at number one, like I've already said, is it will just help stop strange cats coming into your house. So the way it works is there is a scanner on the top of the flap. Whenever a cat puts its head through that tube, it will read or look for the cat's microchip. If that microchip is there but not programmed into the cat flap, or if a cat doesn't have a microchip, they can't get in. Simple. So only the cats that you program to come through will be able to get into the house. Now this is obviously fantastic for a whole number of reasons um, and it can store a huge number of microchips. I think this model, which is an older one, was maybe about 50. So you're not gonna to have too many cats for this to work and it's an ideal way to stop strange cats coming into your house. So there is of course another way we can control access and that is to use a collar with a magnet and that is a different magnet activated cat flap. That obviously means that your cat would need to wear a collar and they need to have a bulky magnet around their neck. So another benefit of having a microchip cat flap is it removes the need to have a bulky magnet around their neck. Now, if you don't have a microchip in your cat, then you can use a little tag, but in my mind that doesn't defeat the purpose of having a microchip cat flap, but one of the big benefits is that your cat doesn't need a collar with a bulky magnet on. So the next big benefit of having a microchip cat flap is you can actually pre-program the times that your cat is allowed out, and that will help with routine and consistency, and that's something I discussed as well in my causes of stress and how to reduce stress in cat videos. So having that routine is really great. Being able to program the cat flap means that you don't necessarily need to be around if you're caught late at work, if you're uh, away for the weekend, if you're getting up late, for whatever reason, you can ensure that your cat has access to the outside and inside whenever you program that cat flap to let them in and out. So having a set routine is another great way of eliminating or reducing stress and a microchip cat flap can really help you with this. Okay, the fourth benefit of a microchip cat flap is it can allow you to let different cats in and out at different times. So it might be that you've got a vet appointment, for example, for one cat, you can let your other cat out through the cat flap, but you can program the flap not to let your other cat out, the one that needs to go to the vet. So there's less chance of them doing a runner and you having to miss or cancel an appointment. So the next benefit at number five is that you can actually get remote access to your cat flap through an app on your smartphone in some cases. And what this means is that if there's any unseen event that happens, for example, if there's a big thunderstorm coming, um, you can be at work and you can program your cat flap to lock and keep your cats inside, which will help keep them safe. They're not gonna get panicked if there's any thunder. Another example would be you can program it if it's fireworks due, you can program it to only let your cat out later on, kind of in the early hours of the morning, rather than being outside when fireworks are going off, which can cause injury. And I've certainly seen when I've been on um, after hours duty that you do get cats that panic, they'll run across the road and they'll get into trouble that way if there's fireworks or if there's thunder or that kind of thing. 
things. So the microchip cat flap lets you program things through um, an app on your phone or obviously on the unit itself, which can really make a big difference. Okay, number six is that you can monitor your cat's activity. So that can be a great way to know if they're unwell or not. So you can see how many times your cat is coming and going, um, what times they're coming and going, and you can get a picture of their regular routine. And you know, very often we're out for the day at work and we're not really sure what our cats are up to, but if you know that every day your cat comes and goes three or four times, but maybe over the last couple of days they've not really been using their cat flap, then that might be a sign that they're unwell. So it can help you pick up problems with them at an earlier time than maybe you would otherwise. And so that microchip cat flap can just help you monitor your cat's health and give you that early warning that you might not otherwise have. Okay, my last benefit of having a microchip cat flap is it actually will encourage you, if you don't already have your cat microchipped, to get the microchip. Now, I think that any cat that's going outside really should have a microchip in. It's a really great peace of mind. So if they go missing, if, for example, they got um, hit on the road, if they got into trouble for any other reason, then having a microchip in and being on the national database um, just means that they that, that wherever they get taken, be that to a vet, be that to a shelter, then those people will be able to get in touch with you. I can't tell you how frustrating it is when we have a stray cat brought in by a member of the public and there's just no identification, there's no microchip. And you know, in many cases, the cat is clearly very friendly, but there's no way for us to get in touch with the owner. And in some cases, that can be that early contact can be really important. It might be that your cat has injuries that really need dealing with uh, sooner rather than later, and we need permission for that. So, getting your cat microchipped is really important if they go outside. And having a microchip cat flap might be just what it takes to to convince you to get your cat microchipped. Okay, so those are the reasons why I think that you should think about getting and consider getting a microchip cat flap. So I've had this short flap microchip cat flap for well, probably about six, seven years now, and I got it for the very reason that we had cats coming in to the house, um, eating our cat's food, and that was causing them a lot of stress. And overnight, that, that solved that problem. So I think it's great from that point of view. We're six, seven years in, it's still going strong, it's still working well. I've got no concerns there. The plastic has become a little bit yellow from white over the years in the sun, and the plastic's become a bit more brittle when I've had to remove it and, and when we've moved house, but that's not a problem. It still works perfectly well, just as it did on the day that I bought it. Now, this is an older model being kind of seven years old or so. I don't have that remote capability, I don't have an app and I can't program the time, but certainly the newer models do all have that. But either way, I think it's been a great addition to the way I'm able to look after my cats. So it does have good battery life. Um, it lasts about, I think it lasts me about six months or something like that. There is a light that flashes on mine. I think it flashes, it's that, that kind of, well, that light there. Um, flashes when it's running low on batteries and obviously it's important that you replace those otherwise the scanner won't work and your cat won't be able to come in. Um, that did happen once when I was wondering why my cats were outside and they weren't coming in and the microchip um, cat flap reader wasn't working so they weren't able to get in. So that's you know something to bear in mind. If, you're, if you've got a number of cats and if they use their flap very frequently then it may run out sooner than that. So that's just something that you need to keep in mind. There is a thought with um, some microchip companies that maybe if the, a microchip is being scanned incredibly frequently, then the microchip may fail. That's not something that I've come across in particular, but that's something to bear in mind as well. You know, if that does happen, it's simply a case of popping another microchip into your cat. It's not a, diff it's not a particularly painful, it's not a difficult procedure. It takes a couple of seconds, that's all. So it's not a big deal, but it's something to bear in mind as well. Okay, so I hope that's been useful. Uh, I hope it's given you some ideas of why you should maybe think about getting a microchip cat flap. And um, certainly if you're thinking about it, if you're sitting on the fence, then I would definitely recommend it. Um, this is the sure flap one. Um, I'll put a link to, to this model if it's still available, as well as to the other models I've talked about in the description down below. Yeah, if you're thinking about it, I definitely think it's a good idea and I wouldn't have any hesitations in recommending it. Um, if you've got any questions about microchip cat flaps, about stress in cats, then make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll also have links down below in the description to the signs of stress in cats that you should be looking out for, as well as other ways to go about reducing stress in your cat. So that's me for today. Like I say, if you've got any questions, then please let me know. Remember to subscribe. And until next time, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, because they're family.